Oh man, we have approached 2022 season here at Six Flags. This time, it's time for some rides. A little rainy out there, but it looks like it's not going to be a great day outside. It's just, um, it's just, um, just a day that we came here. Set of Beast is here, back at the park. It's all next. Stay tuned. So far, it is a, uh, it's very rainy over here. A lot of people um, haven't come in. It's not kind of crowded, but um, I hope you guys are wearing your uh, rain coats because um, it is uh, it is definitely going to be a bad uh, forecast for here to just enjoy it. But all of the uh, people definitely uh, did bring their ponchos or rain coats, either which one it works. But just to say that. Um, uh, we're going to definitely have a lot of rides to enjoy. So with that, our first ride will be El Toro since the return of um, return of last year's closure. Since uh, we we definitely know that there was a bunch of uh, incident happening here. But right now we're just taking our way down from that end. The only attraction that's closed is King Ka because of the weather uh, climate uh, conditions. So, so I will be returning to the park by the time uh, King De Ka is open. So with that being said, we're about to start here for the day of Six Flags Great Adventure. So we'll see you guys in, for the next update when we come back. El Toro, fantastic ride since the return of, the, of this season. Also, we got a little wet already, our rain dropped. We got wet and now we're taking a chance to dry ourselves off. I know. A lot of them were com complaining about the, a lot of rain. It was wet. But the next ride is going to be down over there. The runway mine train and Medusa, which is now uh, used to be Bizarro, now they have already changed it. So, so with that, we'll see you guys for the next update after this one. Medusa is next and runway mine train. Well, everyone, the new coaster in between. The change has responded and here it is. Medusa has lived from its curse. Yeah, that's right. Now you don't see uh, Bizarro anymore. They now have redone the whole paint. They've done a lot of them. Completely turning it into green and brown. Now you don't see Bizarro anymore because now they're replacing it. If you've seen the transformation, go click on the calling card up there. That will take you to Coaster Crusader on that end. Now it's... Let's see how Medusa feels about me. I haven't been on this one, but let's give it a whirl. See you guys for the next time. All right, Medusa was a huge success. Huge hit. And definitely amazing that, that nobody else is here, so we did take the chance to hit the front row. Love the new paint. I think um, I think this one's a lot much better than Bizarro because it was uh, dark paint, like it was purple all of a sudden the supports and the track but me and Liz went on it what do you think of ride so far 10 out of 10 that was fun that was a good one it looks it's a lot more fun than it looks that's what it's uh... yeah, that's good to hear mm -hmm. wow since we're not we're right next to the uh, attraction over here the runaway mine train it could be going back in between me and Jessica too so uh, the next ride is right over here when we come back we'll see you guys for the next update they, they wanted to wait but I but I don't know they're gonna get dried up, hopefully. Well done for Medusa, an excellent four on the on my coaster list. Excellent ride. Oh no, things got to an ugly uh, end here. That hill was just, oh man. My lower body is putting up a tore on me, like torn apart. That is making me furious already. Yeah. Unfortunately, I will never return this attraction. That's it for me. I am all finished. <sighs> well, I guess that ends it over here with El Toro, Medusa, and, and uh, the mine train over here, which is a rough, brutal ride. I think we got some other attractions up ahead, so we'll see you guys for the next update. All right, about to take the flight of Superman Ultimate Flight, the B&M Flying Coaster. So me and Timmy are going to be uh, riding it for, uh, for another attraction. 
I'm gonna save uh, Green Lantern for another day since I wanted to come back uh, again um, any other day except um, except Friday don't want to take a chance to do this one but anyway let's take Superman a flight and have fun with this attraction see you guys for next update excellent ride on Superman also uh, just um, just can't believe that the pretzel loop was still my favorite I mean Timmy went on it how, how do you think of a Superman so far I was pretty good do you like yeah. this uh, element of the uh, pretzel loop? Because I like that one here too. Yeah, that was pretty interesting. Interesting yeah. to me. I Forgot interesting about to me it. that most of the people complain that they really love that element shape of the Superman Ultimate Fly. If you've seen, um, if you've seen the the Manta one, I think uh, I think that's the one in Sea World, Orlando, Florida. I would dare you to check that one out because they have the same uh, same version too on the top of the calling card. So anyway, we're gonna catch ourselves a break, let someone play a game, and then uh, we will get back onto those attractions after this. So let's just, um, we got some tons of other attractions going on around here. So we'll catch you guys in the next update. We're all finished here on the Skyway. Now we're on the other side. And taking a look here, the mountain is already right near us. It looks like Skull Mountain is awaiting us. I don't know. I don't know if I ever do that. Well, I guess that that may be the only thing with that. I don't think that made that happen. But there might be somewhere down over there. We got Nitro. We got Batman. Thanks for a new paint job. 30th anniversary. And Jersey Devil right over there. Number one coaster. So we got more on the way. We'll stick around with the. Next after the update. Alright, in the mountain now. Me, Liz, and Timmy are doing school mountain. Yay! Yep. Is it dark? Is it scary? It's pretty dark. Never been. Uh, Not scary though. Oh, uh, well, it might be alright. We, we could be fine. We'll let you know after. We get yeah, off. I think so. So we'll see you guys for the next update. See you guys later. How did the um, school mountain go? It's pretty fun. So I would say I would rank Medusa over school mountain. Right, right, but do so. But for it, an mountain. indoor ride, not bad. Uh, not that bad, anyway. The well, only thing I can't, I can't even see uh, where yeah. where the track is. At. I agree. I have no idea yeah, where, where we are. I know. Uh, do you really want to be? No, yeah, I, I'm well, uh, yeah, I'm I could definitely allow that. But it looks like we got an next attraction coming in. Yeah, yep. Nice. Gonna definitely enjoy that yeah, next do, one. Yeah. All right, looks like it's about to come in. Jersey Devil is the next stop. Yep, this attraction is ready to rock its way through. I think this one's going to be a beast here. My favorite coaster in the list. Yeah, I like this. I love the single rail coaster. In between this one, the single rail, and the hybrid coaster. There's so much going on over here. But not to worry, this one loves me the most. Let's get this attraction on the board, show how it's done. See you guys for the next update. I told you that Jersey Devil was the best because it's a single fastest rail coaster. And let me tell you, there was a lot of people with excitement going on for last year. They loved it the most. I can't even tell. That was all that they really appreciated. They loved this attraction more than anybody. And I'll definitely tell you how, how much air I had. It blown me away. All this, um, all this course, I think the zero G stall was the best. I like that one. Right behind it. Definitely uh, tag it on tag it on this picture and then send it on Instagram. This one can be the best one too. There it is. Right down there. Love that attraction. Definitely enjoy the best. Now of his face reveal, this hair was blowing me off right away. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, I can't because um, my hair was like all crazy enough for me. From this rain, it happened again. Most of the time, that's what that's what they come out. That their hair, hair is blowing. They're like cra crazy, dude. I'll, <laughs> I, I I made that up. That's that's all I had to say. 
plus a refurbishment of the Taz Tornado, they have now recently renamed it into Storm Chaser, which is now a rebranded name. And over there, yeah, that's the construction. They're about to get ready for this returning attraction for the kids, a new barnstormer from the Looney Tunes Seaport Classic Attraction. It used to be right over here, but now they took up the whole land. They want to save that one here for the new attraction. So it did seem out that this attraction was the best. I think we're about to head on over to Nitro and Batman. They got a nice new refurbished color. Nice, uh, nice uh, feel, a little bit orange. It's gold anyway. Actually, it's it's gold. I expect it is new yellow scheme color. Yeah, because of a 30th anniversary. Yeah, I expected that was gonna be over here. But I love that repainting, just like Medusa did. And for that, we have uh, Nitro and Batman over here. So I guess that, I guess it can be a good one too. So uh, we got our next one here. Stick around after this one for the next update. Oh man, Nitro was only succeeding this coaster in the front row. I can't believe when nobody else took the front row. I don't understand why. It looks like that that the Jersey Devil was was number one, and then number two was Nitro over there. I cannot remember this one, but this one's a little bit, a little bit of, uh, even in between. I have to give it a Jersey Devil. Most of you are thinking of me. Why is Jersey Devil the most of your favor? Well, because this version right here. Yeah, that Raven dive loop there. And then the zero G stall right over there. And then an up and overhang. That gave me some excitement moments. Almost would have checked out of a seat and then come back down. And then a zero G roll was right over here. So lots of fun already. Did a great, a lot of rides working out great so far. Rain's a little easing up on, on us. But hopefully there might be there might be only a few attractions to go, and we can call that one a, a great afternoon. We'll see you guys in the next update. Our next attraction is Batman and Ride. Me and Liz are doing this again. So far, it's time to see how this attraction goes in by. Um, you know, it's your choice. I, I don't know how, is it this way? Uh, yeah, it's this okay. way. Well, in the Gotham City Park, Time to get this on the attraction and check it out. This attraction, nice, new, nice new or refurbished uh, paint. I think that's uh, I think it looks amazing too. Let's get on it. See you next update. It looks like uh, Batman was all right, all all good so far, but a little uh, but, but a little uncomfortable for Liz. She's thinking yeah. that it was a little scrambled out. I'm a little queasy. A <laughs> little too queasy. Craziest inversion. That's all. That's all what happened so far. Anyway, looks like uh, Dark Knight is right across from the building. The indoor wild mouse. See you guys next for another update. Well, Dark Knight was a little uh, switch swapping indoor wild mouse coaster. Looks all right. But I think uh, I think I'm all alone with this Wonder Woman lasso truth. I think I think she's gonna uh, root for me. Is that go, Chris? Go, right? Chris, go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I I honestly would appreciate that. Best real ride here in a great adventure, but Adirondack um, Outlaw ADK was the best here at the Great Escape in this one. That was uh that was monstrous. Anyway, let's get this one a roar. Enjoy this one for my attraction. Here I go. Oh my god. I come off this ride, this was like flying high in front of me. There was no way that nobody else wants to do it. It's just only me now. Better than a cyborg cyber spin, which which I'm still not doing now. It would be too much for me to do. But anyway, this is a throw ride is massive wow well i guess that that does that does a great uh, that was a great throw ride i 
guess uh, there are some other attractions left before we head out to the park. So I guess there will be more time at left, and then we will be heading out. See you guys for the next update. We are all finished here, and that uh, that was the Justice League uh, Battle for Metropolis, yes, the Dark Simulator ride. It looks like uh, we got some it's time to get some shops going on. There's so many others that we are definitely gonna enjoy it and check it out before we leave the park. So, what a day for Six Flags. Not a great day for the rain, because we all hate it. Plus, I also forgot to mention that they have already got some great merchandise already, plus the Six Flags one. I always really enjoyed it so far. Even those neons shirts over here. These are the, uh, the shirts that for the Looney Tunes, in between those. Some decor in design. Up on top, I always know that they got some good superhero shirts right over there. Yeah, that was very neat. I am I just can't believe that there was a lot of them going on. Most of all, I think I wanted to get the Six Flags shirt from The Great Adventure. I think um, they're gonna recognize that I went to Six Flags to give it another one and enjoy that one too. With that, I think uh, merchandise is over here and the rest of the Six Flags uh, day was just awesome. Really enjoyed it so far. I think I'll be heading back to do some uh, other couple attractions that I didn't get a chance to do. And also Caps, yeah, yeah, you also, um, seen the caps already interesting idea very cute awesome well that's going to conclude for the uh, for newest season of 2022 six flags grid adventure I'd like to thank you all for uh, for watching like for this one. If you haven't checked the last year's video, I would highly free. recommend so you check in my playlist section the right down there from the from the calling card right over there on the playlist section. But um, but we did have a great uh, great time at the park. Of course, I think uh, it's time for us to get going home. Yep, and we know that the rains has already stopped, so. We definitely uh, really love to enjoy it out when you're too. So we did have fun. And um, of all the other three, Jessica, Timmy, and Viz, I am Chris, son of Beast. Thank you for joining us. And until next time, peace out, everyone, for a while as the Six Flag style. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. So long, Six Flags. Until next time, take care.